All right, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the difference between the OG Diane 8119 and the new school Diane 8119. On top, we have the OG Diane, and on the bottom, we have the new school. As you can see on the bottom, compared to the top, there's obvious differences between the two brushes. On the top, you see there's a lot of rows between the bristles, and on the bottom, you can barely see the bottom. And just know that the 8119 on top, my OG, has been through hell and back. That brush is probably like two or maybe three years old. And it still looks better than this new school Diane that I have here. Um, the back, not much difference. It's just a different color. But I know Diane's have different colors when it comes to their brushes. Um, Alright, here we have the new school Diane 8119. You can barely see to the bottom of the brush. You can't see the back. On the sign to the right, you can't even see Diane properly. It's faded out. Um, there's a lot of space between the board on the bottom where it connects to the bristles where as the OG Diane right here the bristles go all the way to the end of the board which means it'll probably create wider waves you could say um, you can see through you can see the rows Diane the labels on the right side and the label is still there and that new school Diane I didn't even use that that was fresh up the box and the labels already gone but here you can see that the OG to the right, right here, has higher bristles compared to the new school on the left. And you can see in between the gaps there. And this brush has not been cleaned forever. And here we have the new school. You can see through it because it's brand new. Here is the, the main thing that got me. Here is the new school. You can't even see the rows. Here's the OG and you can see rows, just seven lines right there. That is what's going to help you get your waves right there. That Those rows there, this brush on the left will just give you messy waves. I really, you can tell. And here we have the labels, Diane OG on the right side and the new school on the left. The label on the OG is still intact over three years now. The brush on the left, I just pulled it out for a week, didn't even use it, and the label's already fading. Why? Why is Diane doing this? I don't know. On top we have the OG, as you can see it looks beautiful, it looks sexy, that's one of my favorite brushes of all time. And on the bottom, the New School Diane, I do not use it, I gave it away, I do not use that brush. I need to get OG Diane 811s, if anyone can get me OGs, hit me up, send me an email at NicholasAW93 and let's talk some business. Subscribe, check out how to clean the brushes in the top left corner right here, stay wavy.